Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. It's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing some Transformers 1980s mini bot Autobot Gears. And this is an old school toy from the 80s. Yeah, you can see his robot mode underneath the vehicle. But this is an old one, so it ain't the re-release. And he rolls very well for a mini-bot that has lasted the dawn of time, huh? But yeah, this is from the 80s, and Autobot Gears was a grumpy bot. But now for comparison. Here we have Generation 1 Gears next to Warpath. Kablam! Next to my 1980s Jump Starters, Top Spin, and Whirl. Why not? Here I say, why not? G1 Bombshell because it's precious. G1 E Precious. Decepticon Shockwave. He is smaller than Shockwave. He's smaller than the Jump Starters, too. Smaller than G1 Astro Train. Why not? He's got a broken wing. Sorry about that. G1 Long Haul. G1 Scrapper. He is less bigger than Scrapper. And Mixmaster. And now we're going to get down to Transformation, which is basic. First, you flip his foot around like so. Till it tabs into place and then you got a leg all done. Second verse, just like the first. Pull his arms out. And there you got G1 Gears. All so precious. G1 e precious. But now for some 80s robot mode comparisons. Here is G1 Warpath, another mini bot I own. Why not? The jump starters, which I have to pull them like this. Come on. And they're supposed to jump up and stand up. That's why I was showing that off, because they're fun. And yeah, they're supposed to jump up, but they have our trouble doing that. And there we got some other Autobots. Why not? We're going to show them next to uh, Mixmaster. Here we got Mixmaster Transform. Very simple. To transform these guys. I am going to be tracking down, and we'll be getting this month, is the Transformers Generation 1 Constructicon Bone Crusher. So we'll have most of the Constructicons from the 80s. Why not? Say why not? We'll only have to track down Scavenger and Hook, and then we'll have the entire Constructicon wave, and then I gotta go buy their weapons and their combined mode bits, and then we can put together a G1 Devastator. Here we got Long Haul from the 80s. Why not? There I say, why not? An Astro Train is pretty simple to transform. I've done him like a thousand times here on the channel, I think. And there is Astro Train. Another Decepticon. So I'll do a count on how many of these I own this year. And you'll be amazed on how many I've collected over this year. Of 2023. 
because next year is going to be 2024. So yeah, looking forward to next year. That will be how many years? That will be another year I've been reviewing on this channel. So yeah, Shockwave, if I can get him to stand. Come on, Shockwave. Stand. Stand, Wave. Stand. I'm going to have to lean him up in the back right there and then raise the camera. Man, these, he doesn't like to stand very much. Yeah, he doesn't like to stand very much, so he's got to be holed up by the backdrop back there. And finally, the last bot to put right next to the other one we own this year is G1 Bombshell. And how many of these do I own this year? One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Transformers Generation One. Not ten. Uh, nine of them I own this year. Yeah, it is ten. Sorry, correction error. I own ten Transformers Generation One from the 80s. And yeah. I love collecting these things. Whenever I find them loose, they are a lot of fun to mess around with and transform. But Gears has got to be my personal favorite because I don't think I've ever had this guy in my collection from the 80s. But he is a fun looking bot. He looks pretty cool. He's not accurate with his face to the G1 character. But from what I'm hearing with Legacy... They will be doing a Transformers Legacy Autobot Gears. Will I try to pick that up? Yes. Will I do a comparison next to this? Yes. But for now, he'll be in my Generation 1 collection until I get that figure. If you like this video, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. But before we move on, this is what we're reviewing. Tuesday is the Transformers Fall of Cybertron Shockwave. Why not? And I got this figure for only a quarter from the church flea market. And now we're moving on and rock on and rock out.